Hello everyone, welcome back, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic, and today we're back with another Microsoft Light Simulator video, and this is the second part of my tutorials for the MD-80 by Leonardo, Fly the Mad Dog, MD-82 by Leonardo. It is, quite honestly, one of my favorite aircrafts for Microsoft Light Simulator. If you missed the first part, where I go over the FMC and how you can plan your flight, Make sure to check it out. I will have it linked in the top right corner. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. And if I helped you, let me know. I'm always happy to know I'm helping. Um, this is the GPU. Yep. Just situating myself right here. Uh, we do have the fuel loaded. And the altitude. Okay. So, what I like to do, I'm not going to follow the checklist, uh, just so I don't forget, I like to pop these guys up, so there's a pixel right here, so we don't have to, there we go, so we don't click this, so what this is, I'm going to move closer so I can show you, it is the pneumatic crossfeed valve, and if you don't have this open, you might be trying to start your engines, and they're not really going to spin, they're not going to do anything, so yeah. That's what, that's what it does. Uh, I'm going to start with the hydraulics as well. Get this out of the way. So, engine high, trans on, aux on. Okay, looking good. The hydraulics are looking very, very good. I'm going to move closer just so I can show you everything I'm going to do. This is the flight deck door. Let's imagine we know who we are flying with. We're, not, we're gonna keep this open for now. Right here we have the pressurization. And what you wanna do is, you wanna have the landing altitude of the airport you are at. So we're gonna be flying out of KDTW. And if we look, give me a second. Okay, so the elevation here is 600. So right here, I'm gonna scroll this a little bit over 600 it's 636 so ooh, overdid this a little bit there we go no 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 sometimes i'm moving this and it kind of moves too much so i'm gonna leave it in between six and seven and the barrel here i'm gonna check the little paper we have one zero one three not you quick view there we go 1013, which is the one we have set. So yeah, this is the altitude of the airport we are at. Okay. Looking back down here, we can test the this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the scroll wheel forward. I'm pressing this one and this one. Okay. Now I'm going to remove this. So you really have to press both of these at the same time. And the only one, the only way you can do this is using the scroll wheel. So scroll wheel forward. If you click this and you let go, it, it lets go really. So control six. If you want to, you can do the rest of the checks. This is the light for the cockpit, so you can actually get some light. Um, wind shear. Headwind, shear, headwind, shear, headwind, shear. Tailwind, shear, tailwind, shear, so, yeah. tailwind. If you care about this, you can pretty much learn where everything is and you can do this yourself. It's very, very self explanatory. Um, I'm gonna plan a pushback. I use uh, two bar pushback. So yeah, it's by Ambitious Pilots. It's on flightsim.to. Very, very nice. Very, very nice piece of aircraft, uh, piece of software. So I'm gonna plan a pushback and then I'm gonna turn on the APU. As soon as the APU is on and providing power, I'm gonna request the pushback. 
Okay, so this is where we're at. We want to line up with this taxiway. Let's get a nice, okay. Let's get the plane straight here and then let's turn the plane. There we go. Click and enter. So it's planned for the APU. So we have our battery on, just checking. This is the APU master switch, so we can turn on the APU. What, what we want to do is, we want to turn on one of the pumps and the start pump. And then click once, click twice. And we should get some rotation up here. And is it rotating? Yes, it is. And if we look outside, we should have the APU exhaust in the back. Uh, is that it? Let's see if we can find it. I think it should be here somewhere in the back. And the reason we start one of the pumps uh, for the APU, I'm not too sure about this. I do know that for this 737, you start one of the pumps. Okay, I can hear the APU, but I don't see the exhaust. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. So this is the APU exhaust. You can see it here. I did know it was somewhere around here. So, very, very nice. So the reason you turn on one of the pumps, at least I imagine so, I might be mistaken, turning on APU generators. On the 737, if you turn on one of the pumps, it helps the APU pump the fuel in. It uses fuel. And it basically prolongs the life of the APU. It helps a little bit, a little bit with the maintenance. Uh, yeah, APU is on, uh, start pump is off, external power is off, these are the generators, and the APU generators are on, we can turn on the APU air, we're going to use the air to start the engines, we can also use the air for the AC, as you can see it's moving up, we're not going to do that, we're going to use the air for uh, the engines. The engines need air to start spinning. So right here we have the ignition. We're going to go system A. We're going to start with the right engine. And we're going to turn on all of the pumps. Okay, just final checks. Uh, seat belts are on. No smoke is on. Emergency lights are armed. Anti-ice is off. Pito heaters are off. Okay, everything's looking good, and I'm going to request a pushback. Cockpit to ground. This is ground. Stand by. I'm going to get rid of the GPU, since we are on APU. There we go. If you want to, you can turn this off so you can save some power, or you can just keep this open here. Okay. I'm going to turn on the lights this will be on position let's look closer so anti-collision is on position is on position and strobe i'm gonna move to strobe as we get um as we're going for the actual runway so wing the cell okay, is sir, on the bypass pin is installed all doors and hatches closed and all ground equipment is removed these are the on as well are set. you may lift parking brake set lifting the aircraft I'm going to try and make myself quiet uh, when they're speaking. It's a very nice add-on, the two-bar pushback. Start and push. Okay, cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. Okay, this is the parking brake right here. Parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback, you can start the engines in sequence. It will start in the sequence. I'm going to move this back to map. And we're going to start engine number one. So crossfeed is on. Uh, fuel is off. 
pumps are on, ignition is on system A. Uh, APU is providing air, everything is looking good. So, with the scroll wheel, we're gonna scroll down. Bam. As you can see, this moved. And if we look down, we have rotation. So this is N1, this is N2. So uh, I believe this is big fan, small fan. If I didn't mix these up. So big fan, small fan. As we reach 20, we're going to introduce fuel. 20, fuel. So left click. And we should have a good start. Okay, so far so good. We have a good start. A very good start. Okay, looking up here again, I'm gonna close the guard. I'm gonna open this one and we're gonna move over to engine number one. Again, 20. Okay, push back completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking okay. brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. Ground. You may disconnect. We have 20. Okay, sir. Clear to Introduce some fuel. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Thank you very much. Holy have a good day. For the visual. Thank you and goodbye. And it looks like we have a second good engine start. There we go. So we have a we have two good engine starts. Ignition off guard. It is guarded. Um ooh, sorry about that. Uh yeah, it's perfectly fine. I misclicked. Sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah. Um if we want to we can just start providing AC here. We can close you off. No, not you. We can close you off. And the engines should be able to do this. Um, you can keep this on for takeoff, just in case. But I'm just going to turn this off. Uh, the air could come off as well. Uh, we can have the engines providing this for the, for the aircraft. The APU generators can come off. We are basically running the aircraft using the engine's generators. So the APU is still providing some power. External power is zero. Left engine. Right engine. I believe this is battery voltage and amperage. Let's, let's take a closer look. There we go. So let's move over. Oh yeah. Battery vote. Battery amp. Vote amp. Okay, let's set the altimeter. I like using a hotkey for this, it's just so easy. Uh, speed bugs, I like clicking here. It's gonna set the speed bugs for us. It's so easy, there's no reason not to do this. Um, here we're gonna set T-A-R-A, -A, which is this. Auto brake, we're gonna have takeoff and let me move over so I can show you this. So this is the auto brake. So we have off, take off, and for landing we have minimum, medium, max. I land on medium. As we are entering the runway, we're gonna arm this. This is not gonna be a full flight. I'm just gonna show you how you can safely turn this on and safely take off. You're gonna pull this so you can get the artificial horizon correctly aligned. There you go, looking good. Uh, okay, lights are on. Nose light is on right. Altitude is selected. Speed is looking good. And right here, this is very, very important. Take off, take off flaps, go around, climb, cruise. I pretty much only use take off climb and cruise so take off keep an eye here this is your engine panel take off 
our limit is 1.95. Don't go over this. It's okay if you're slightly below this, but don't go over this. The throttle is pretty much on you. You have to manually make sure you're not going above this. So don't. <laughs> like, don't. Uh, flaps. We have the flaps indicator here. And we also have flaps in here. So this should be 11 and 15. If we look here, we have flaps 11 and we have flaps 15. Looking good. This is the speed brake. You click, left click. It's going to arm the speed brake. And now we can taxi. This light, this light right here, it lets you know if you're missing anything for the takeoff. If it's on, you forgot something. Uh, maybe the speed brakes, maybe the auto brake, maybe the pitch, which I didn't go over. But we're going to do this as we're holding short of the runway. But we're going to calibrate the pitch when we're holding short. We are running short of runway 4, right? And back to the inside. Let's imagine it's a very, very busy airport. So landing lights are coming on. We look here. Strobe is coming on. And then we look down. We have yet to fix the pitch. And moving over here. Ideally, you want to do this at the gate. But... I kind of got ahead of myself a little bit. And it makes a sound. There's a horn when you're moving this. So if you have a hotkey for the trim, you can use it. You can also use this. So as you can see, it's moving. It's going to make a horn sound. It's some sort of horn or a mechanic thing. So yeah, these two should line up. No, 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 no. So these two should line up. That's all you have to care about. These two should line up. The light is still on. We have flaps 15, but the auto brake is disarmed. Now it's armed. So disarmed, armed. Light went off. So if this light is on, you forgot something. And I did. So ignition should be on both so if you look around right around this area you have system a off system b both for takeoff you want to have this on both i'm gonna release the parking brake give it it give it some throttle and auto brake is armed spoiler is armed so clear right and clear left as you can see, maneuverability, maneuverability is very, very good. You just have to go slow. We have to line up with the runway right now. Okay, lights are good. Everything else is good. We are on takeoff setting. And we're going to take off no delay. We're going to start increasing the throttle. And this is going to go over very, very quickly. So... You do not want to go above 1.95. Keep an eye there. Increase the throttle slowly. I'm going to turn on the auto throttle. Clamp. Clamp means we are manually controlling the throttle. Increasing the throttle just ever so slightly. There we go, I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm very, very close to 195, and... V1. Rotate. Rotate. Pulling the yoke back. There we go. Positive rate. Gear up. 
I'm gonna click here real quick, climb, and I'm gonna select speed. Gear up, lights out. Speed 170, auto throttle is on. It should keep the engines under control for us. I'm gonna turn on nav. This way we have the flight director for this. Altitude is engaged right here. And now we can follow the flight director. It does want us to go down for some reason, but we can do vertical speed. 2000. And I highly advise you to fly this manually until you achieve a decent altitude. Just follow the flight director. It's easy enough. And it's very, very forgiven. Now I'm going to pitch this. There we go. We're kind of kind of in the right place. Climb is 170. Let's increase this to 240. Actually, let's do 250. And we are very, very close to the flight director, so autopilot is coming on. As you can see, very, very smooth. Very smooth. I'm gonna decrease the vertical speed, just so we can gain some speed, and I can start retracting the, the flaps. Keeping keep an eye here. Flap limb, yeah. So, retracting for flaps 11. We are following the flight plan. Altitude, re altitude restriction is 2500 above and 6000 below. I'm gonna retract the flaps again and we're gonna go fully flaps up. So yeah, flaps up. Flap zero. Flap zero. Looking good. If we look up here, we have speed selected 250, altitude selected, vertical speed, and this right here is very, very important. We are on climb. After we climb and we reach cruise altitude, we want to go on cruise. And then for landing, take off. You're gonna need the extra, the extra throttle. You're gonna be full flaps, uh, gear down. We're gonna go through clouds and the pito should be on, it's not. This is my bad, excuse me, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. If you're going through clouds, turn this on. Uh, now, all you have to do is follow the altitudes. You can use the VNAV, so this is the VNAV button. Let me show you. So this is the VNAV button. You can fly. You can fly using VNAV. It's completely fine. It's completely acceptable. If you're flying online, like that same Iveo, and you're getting directions, you can just do nav, and you can manually select the altitude and all the rest. This is how you can safely uh, start the aircraft and take off, uh, keeping the engines alive. And let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I helped. And if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe. Fly safe. Bye-bye.